Yeah, look. I hope you're all having a good time. Not that I am. Um, we're over here chilling. And uh, I noticed that chilling and actually paying off our debts, we have. <laughs> we're paying 6,000 on interest, but uh, you know, we're getting there. I'm not sure if uh, lowering the taxes. If this would be a good time to lower the taxes. Uh, it does put me at an unhealthy economy. But um, it should fix itself relatively soon. Because uh, people will be more happy and probably will be afford more things. And, um, and so kind of feed back into the economy. Uh, the, the, the thing that I've noticed is Russia is busy in the Far East. So I want to take the opportunity to break the Ottoman alliance. Because they, Russia might not join. And I'm not sure for which to declare. Uh, it feels like the Southern Serbia is a bit less populous. But has a lot more potential for lead, coal and, and, and things like that. So let's declare a war on that. And boof, look at Russia run away. That's actually quite cool. And we are able to sway one country. And that one country is Austria. And that's something that I really, really think it's cool. Um, so then, you know, the two Sicilies is pretty much isolated. We just attack from north to south. And the Ottomans over here... Um, with the Ottomans, it's a bit more complicated because we share so many. We have so many fronts between us and them. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit crazy. Not gonna mobilize just yet. Let me send Austria a kiss, and then they should join. Uh, this might bring Prussia to the uh, to the mix which is not a, a very good or fun thing to have happen but who knows maybe we'll be fine maybe we'll be fine so Austria is now joined let's see if anybody else changes their mind Austria should start moving troops Cross the fronts and boom! Da -da 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 we just got it. We just got it for free. Awesome. Thank you. This is a very fun land. It's a bit in turmoil. I wish I could give it back to Serbia or something. But we can incorporate it and that should mitigate the turmoil quite a bit. And now I don't feel ready to attack Russia just yet. If we take a look at our diplomacy, country browser, infamy, our infamy is quite high, that's true. But then Moldova is completely isolated and it's got 2 million, peop 2 million Romanians that need to be part of my state. They'll be happier in Wallachia, I can tell because I am smart and they're not as smart as I am. And coal fire plant is now active for power plants and synthetic plants is on. We can use fertilizer and sulfur to synthesize dye. Okay. I have a lot of dye plantations so I'm not really incentivized to build those. But I want to make my power plants better. And they'll need less people. They'll need less people to be fully employed. So hopefully that's going to be valuable. Uh, what cool things can I research? Electric arc process for the steel mills. That's also pretty cool, but also this is also cool. Steel frame buildings. 
A lot of cool things. Bureaucracy cost from population. That's also fun. But I think that's gonna just naturally spread to my lands. I don't need to sway anybody. I see that the great king is... Temp is kind of on their side? Question mark? Uh, I think that's kind of silly, but whatever. And I also believe that I might have uh, decreased taxes a bit too soon. You know, our economy is getting back on track, but very, very slowly. Hmm. I don't know. I did build some extra iron mines, no? Yeah, I think I should. What's our construction queue looking like? Okay, oil rigs. We will eventually need that because... We have the quest to expand the oil industry. Um, not sure how valuable the oil rigs are right now. Oh my god. We already owe Austria an obligation. Ah, because I called them in the previous thing. Alright. Who's the greatest? This guy is an expert of offensive planner, so let's put him there. Hmm. Our investment pool is pretty strong. They would like to join. They just uh, oh, so that's how we can use obligation, I suppose. What well, just once every once every full moon or so. Hmm. Okay. Uh, don't really like the fact that we are losing so much money. Should I increase the taxes back again? So we stay in the positives. I'm afraid that's something that needs to be done. I have a lot of uh, radicals. A lot of radicals. I don't really like that. Standards of living here are not well. I could dissolve these barracks and instead build some uh, lead mines, some coal mines, and some logging camps. No uh, wood is a problem. I'll just let these finish. How does the infrastructure look like here? We still have enough, okay. The great king has joined. I mean, I'm just hoping that they'll just... They don't seem to be in a hurry to, to reinforce this front. Which I take that's a good sign. Our rubber is expensive. We do have a great potential for rubber, but... Um, I do want to build a couple of things here. Maybe give people something to do. Can I see... The... There's a lot of peasants here that would like to, to get better jobs, and I'll offer them in our mines. And unfortunately, war cannot be evaded. That's just the sad truth. I am wondering if I can maybe push the construction sector a little bit over here. We might be able to. Governmental expenses. Uh, but I don't know how my expenses will look like after I conquer this. Is anybody else joined? No? I still can't. Okay. It's just the king. Maybe if we fully annex them. The great king is not joining. We should be pretty quickly. Uh, this should end pretty quickly and then we can just wait. Damn, something happened in the US. Oh, hello, Confederate States of America. I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Kind of. Alright. We're smashing. It's a smashing victory. Our guy has an awesome beard. Um, oh, not, it's not our guy, it's Serbian. Nice. Awesome Serbian beard. 
is being victorious. The turmoil here does increase. Not fun. Not fun at all. But the, the, the fun thing is that it's I'm so tired of having to build ports everywhere and pay so much money for it. The fact that we just have uh, a thing that's connected to our lands is pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Yeah, and the Great King, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not coming over here. Devastation would be sad. But necessary. I have a feeling that uh, we're gonna need some more bureaucracy at the end of this. Oh, there we go. Mm, not enough. Not nearly enough. And this, this electricity thing is really puzzling. Why can't you guys simply hire more people? 30%? That's, that's not a lot. That's, very, that's a very low number. Let's expand the uh, iron mines, maybe. That'll make just everything uses iron. Like this uses steel. Steel uses iron. Maybe it all feeds. I don't know what to say. This looks like a pretty quick and easy war. Moldova is ours to hold and keep. Again, electricity input. There is an electricity plant here. I hope it's not going to be destroyed in the war. I've seen this this kind of thing happen before. Um, let's put down one more construction sector. Why not? Eh? Are we researching the right thing? Yeah, steel frame buildings. That's gonna that's gonna make things a bit better, betterer in time. Yeah, Moldova, poor Moldovans stand no chance. They're gonna be conquered pretty soon. Everything is expensive on this market. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. And again my... Oh, hello. It's a letter. Discipline and punish. Yeah. I think the arms forces are... Yeah, they're fairly happy. Doesn't matter. Oh, wait, what? Ah, it's because our new construction sector is online, so we're losing a bit of money. But it's still a healthy economy. It's still a healthy economy, okay. We do like as, to have as much production as possible. I'm still this still puzzling. Now motor industries are fully staffed and so engines are cheap. Right? So that should give us the power plant should be hiring and working. This beats me man, I don't know. I can't I don't understand how any of this works. What I do understand is that I need some more government, uh, I need to expand the government administration. There is some here, there, there are two here. I think I saw a power plant, didn't I? Or was it just a dream? There's so much grain and stuff here. Boom! Moldova has been united. It cost us four... What the hell? It cost us so much to incorporate this. Oh my god. 500 bureaucracy to incorporate this. Are you crazy? Turmoil is insanely high. I'm losing money like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Market access is awful because we probably need. I need to get rid of this.
how much these things don't take oh let's build the railway huh make it high priority the crusade for change radical party interesting let's go for public schools yeah it's devastation is not that high but turmoil is immense so that's a huge tax waste and migration attraction is awful um i'd like to incorporate them but i do need the the, the little bit of extra um, government whatever efficiency um bureaucracy it's very weird how these things work why so much bureaucracy there, there are a lot of people that 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 is true but this much and we're not using and there's a lot of people to tax here so ultimately it might be very very worth it yeah okay after this government building is is finished i'll make another one and i think that should give us enough um we have enough tax waste as it is in this state so i don't want to make it even worse hey guys this is gonna take a while is thermal here decreasing probably oil rigs have been expanded and maybe this bureaucracy bonus do I actually receive that bureaucracy bonus or not that's not very clear to me Again, we've dropped to 33% employees and the steel mills are completely unemployed. Wh what the hell, man? Come on. Moldavia is in turmoil, I know. I am fully aware. Fully aware of that. Hmm. What are the Russians doing? Are they still warring? No. What's their diplomacy looking like? They have a bunch of defensive pacts. With, especially with the two Sicilies. Two Sicilies is so annoying. And the syllabus has issues. Let's put another one down. Two should be sufficient for us to be able to incorporate Moldova without major penalties and then if we tax 2 million people and we start building um, electric plants and things like that maybe building things here and creating um, a bit of competition maybe that will help with employment I'm not sure if this if, if, if things work this way in this game but if they do then I'm very proud of myself can I click this now? That's the thing. How does this? How is this cost called? How is this cost calculated? That's my question. Because this number seems to be going down. Is it related to the turmoil in th in this place or what? Because uh, the incorporation cost does decrease in time. Hmm. I don't know how any of this works. But yeah, money situation seems to have stabilized a bit. Even with... N Are we still running? Oh yeah, we're still running full tax. Bad. Bad, 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 sad, annoying. Mm -hmm. it's just this infrastructure problem must be solved we might need more we, n we might need more railways uh, and I believe we, we will need more railways there's no escaping that and I wonder if uh, increasing infrastructure will help 
and give me more bureaucracy to work with? I wonder. Oh, but we'll find out in due time. I wish I could expand my construction sector, but at the moment I can't. If it's not broken, why fix it? Patriotic Party gets some uh, armor, armed forces. Uh, okay. Again, if we take a look, how does our infamy look like? Yeah, pretty high. Not as high as Prussia, that's true, but it's still pretty high. I'm not too excited about the oil rigs. I mean, I'm, I am building them for a mission, but they're not gonna give me a lot of revenue. Votes are in. Patriotic Party gets what? You know what? I want to try something. Ha! Huh. We can put everyone in power. Let's go. Everyone in power. We can enact whatever. Fun. Okay. So now our infrastructure should increase. Probably. Will it? Still incorporating cost is so high. It's crazy. It's crazy high. Okay, infrastructure is increasing slowly. Mm, let's build another one. We're gonna need a lot of railways in Moldova. It's a pretty big state. There's a lot of farming going on there. They should increase a pop uh, our um what life whatever thing. Um the prosperity of our people because especially for the poor folk. Hey Nice 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 We've enacted a law Should we open migration completely? Bureaucracy institution cost. This should give us a lot of extra bureaucracy. With elected bureaucrats. Huh. Huh. Uh, legal guardianship. Why can't we go for compulsory primary school? Ah, we, we, we need to invent human rights, okay. Regulatory bodies. It gives us a less dangerous working conditions. What is this? An increase or decrease in workplace hazard levels. Awesome. I'm thinking regulatory bodies uh, is pretty cool. And also gives us a uh, an institution. Hmm. Hmm. Tough. And also another interesting uh, thing is multiculturalism. Maybe regulatory bodies is the way to go. You know, only the landowners don't like that, but uh, who cares? Is the question of the day. Government administration is fully employed and still... This would create a, a little bit of tax waste. I guess I'm gonna have to... Pump that administration some more. And we're... Dead, uh, we're losing money. No, come on. In two years we should be back on track, but until then... Pff, man. It's not gonna be easy. But yeah, there we go. We've uh, prettified our borders. We got this land over here, which is going to be probably very useful. Uh, 
we have a lot of coal mine potential here in Valachia, but then we can use uh, different uh, infrastructure as well for this purpose. And then I have to, to take a look once I've stabilized the infrastructure situation uh, in Moldova. Perhaps we could look at creating some extra power plants here and steel mills and things like that to... Um, to uh, yeah, my theory is that we're going to create competition and then there's going to be more people willing to, uh, to work for lower wages. Who knows? Not sure if that's exactly how this game works, but we'll try. And I'm um, hoping to see that red number turn white again. Um, right now it's pretty concerning. And I think it's because, I don't know, I'm building a building that doesn't uh, take the contribution from uh, the, um, what's it called, the investment fund money? I'm not sure. Yeah, well, we'll come back and uh, we'll take a look at how the situation will stabilize. Le oh, wait a second, wait a second, let's see. So I've been looking forward to this because we can upgrade the construction sector. Make it better. You can also look at human rights. Let's go for electric railways too. So now I've I've changed the new production methods, and that okay increases a lot my uh, construction capacity. Whatever it's. Whew. Woof. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. We got four there. I got three here. Maybe if I remove one, that saves me 5,000. Not a lot. But let's say, relatively speaking, this should be much more efficient. And if my steel mills will decide to, to work, people will decide to come work here. And this might be actually pretty good because the now construction uses steel so i see that they are employing but i don't see actual employee number increasing so employment 29 <laughs> what's next week looking like 28 how how is this em employing people this is not working guys ay 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 Electricity agent short supply. So yeah, this is a bit uh, this is a bit silly, but uh, let's see. Maybe it'll work out in the end. I'll come back after it does. 